Hello, welcome to Hope for Recovery. My name is Amber and um, this is my YouTube channel. And so I've done a couple, if you're interested in taking a look back on a couple of the topics I've covered so far um, in regard to self-care and just getting back to basics. Um, this particular recording is going to be all around acceptance. Um, accepting the things we cannot change, uh, which is a really hard thing to do sometimes. And um, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna jump right into it. And so acceptance is something that um, comes with accepting that we're powerless over things, the things we cannot change, um, you know, and just really getting back to the basics of things. It does require a level of awareness and making the decision to make a change. And so, you know, we come from a culture that wants to control things and wants to know what the outcome is or um, just working really hard to make things happen in our own lives. Um, it could be because of, you know, um, shame that is put upon us. It could be because of uh, <laughs> expectations or unrealistic um, goals. Like, yeah, I mean, so it can just come in a number of ways. And so acceptance can be really helpful through the process of trying to reach our goals because often so much of what we're working on is out of our control. And if we can accept that the only thing we have control over is ourself and how we react to things and, um, you know, allowing things to show up in our life, that'll make a really big difference um, for our journey of recovery. So I do want to remind everybody that sometimes these topics can be really um, challenging to cover. And so it's important that you do make sure and take care of yourself, um, but also in your life, in the daily, you know, activities in your daily life, find time to self-care and whatever that looks like. And, and sometimes you have to really explore what that is because you don't know how to take care of yourself quite yet um, in ways where you're meeting your own needs. And so give yourself time and grace to figure it out. You know, just really immerse yourself in something, see how it makes you feel, how you show up. Uh, afterwards. And I think that that will likely probably help you figure out what works for you for self-care. But it's such an important part of recovery because especially like coming through powerlessness and acceptance, it's going to be uncomfortable. You are going to be working through a lot of things. Um, there's a lot of negative emotions and positive ones, but there's a lot of negative emotions that come up through this process. Um, you know, I know when I first went through acceptance, I was really struggling with shame and guilt and anger and fear and resentment and just all of these really uncomfortable emotions. I did not want to, I didn't want to deal with. <laughs> I didn't want to sit in it. You know, I, I, um, had been so used to it, pushing it down or ignoring it or, you know, whatever that looked like that I didn't want to sit in it. And I, I didn't really have a lot of tools, um, to help me sit in it. And so I guess for myself, when I got there, um, acceptance was a really big part of that because it required me to, um, really own the fact that I couldn't change the things that had happened in my life. The past is the past and I can only change how I show up moving forward. And it also really helped me, um, lean on my community, which my community was still very new at that time. 
but help me lean on my community more and so that I could work through those uncomfortable emotions in healthy ways. So I wasn't necessarily ignoring them. I was really allowing them to show up in my life. So it can be one of those things where if, if we, it's hard because like if you allow too much in at once, it could be just too overwhelming and you're setting yourself up to fail, you know? But if you can allow a little bit in at a time and really process through stuff, um, I think that that is where success is at, that you can make changes that will be lifelong because it really is just sometimes one step at a time, one little, one little thing, one little event, one little, um, second at a time. So, um, which will really help a person slow down and I think put our, put their problems in its true perspective, which is a really, um, hard thing to do. It is possible, but it is one of those things that it takes time. You have to give it time to let it show up in your life and just be patient with yourself and offer yourself just a lot of grace and trust. That's a really big part of this piece. Trust yourself to know that you are going to make the right decisions for your life, for where you're headed. Because if you've come to this place where you're even interested in um, improving your life through recovering from something from your past or something that you've been doing, you know, to, to not cope, then that tells me that you are ready to put in the work and show up. But maybe you don't trust yourself. Maybe you don't know how to practice acceptance and that's okay. It takes time, but the reality is trust yourself and know where you're headed and look back. Sometimes it, it really helps to look back and say, you know, would I have been here a year ago? No. If you told me I was sitting here a year, if you told me a year ago, I'd be sitting where I'm at. I would not have believed you. And, um, that to me, just I, when I can look back and see the progress that I've made, even if it only feels a little bit, that's a huge deal that can make a big difference in how I show up to continue pushing forward. And that's what we need because if you end up not being able to see your progress, you're going to have a hard time pushing through and wanting to continue the journey. And I also say, listen to what other people are saying when they see that you've showed up and the progress that you've made. Outsiders can see things way sooner than we can when we're in it. And so I would encourage you to, you know, lean on your community and, you know, ask for their help and guidance, but also maybe they can give you some um, insight on how much you've grown as a person to show up where you're at today, because that is, that's going to be a big part of it. You know, um, my cat is being crazy. He keeps trying to uh, claw at my chair. Um, anyways, sorry. And, and so just, you know, trust yourself. And, and that could be really, you're like, how do I do that? <laughs> Uh, that takes time. It's not something that happens overnight. It definitely, definitely takes time and uh, allowing yourself to show up. And that does mean make mistakes and then be able to learn from those mistakes. And that can be uh, really another way to measure your progress in recovery. Um, cause as much as we want to just change everything overnight, we can't do that. This is a long term thing. Um, we have to keep showing up and that's where I really appreciate it. You know, step one and admitting we're powerless and really getting back to the basics of things because when I'm struggling and I really want to be where I'm setting myself 
up to go to and I'm not quite there yet, I can take that second to slow down and realize how far I've come and, and trust that I'm still on the right path to putting in all the work to be where I want to be. So, you know, trust yourself, find a way uh, to, you know, accept things as they are and just keep showing up. Let your community know too. They can help keep you accountable. That's a I love having a community that helps me. I always talk about my goals, even if even if it's uncomfortable, which oftentimes it is because, you know, um, but that's the cool thing is that people show up and they work through it with us and it builds our relationships way stronger and uh, they can grow through as well. So I think that's just a really big deal. And anyways, make sure you're taking care of yourself. Give yourself lots of time and grace. Those are really big deals. Uh, acceptance is not an easy thing. You know, just really admitting that we're powerless, not easy by any means, but you know, just know that you will do what you need to for your life because you've come to this place where you have discovered that what you have been doing is no longer working and you need to make some changes. And you know, it's so funny because oftentimes people, you start sharing these things and you start really putting it out there. Everyone's got a solution. You know, it's one thing, you know, offering solutions versus education. I'm all about getting yourself educated to understand more so that you know where you're at and what path you might want to take to improve. Um, but when you start sharing things, people will have solutions and they expect that you are going to listen to everything they say. And the reality is 95% of the time, 90, I'm going to say 90% of the time, um, it's not going to work for you. And so part of the process is being able to set your boundaries with people and say, you know what, that's not going to work for me. Um, but reflect on it and find that 10% that you like and leave the rest and imp implement it into your life for how it works for you. And then watch how it shows up. It's going to be, you know, give time to, to show an improvement in your life. And, you know, maybe you didn't do exactly what your parents wanted you to do or your boss wanted you to do or whatever it looks like sponsor. Um, but you took the parts pieces that would work for you and you put it into your life to make that improvement in, in your own way. And I know from all the years I've had in recovery, I've really come to learn I am my own resource. I have many of the solutions uh, within me if I could tap into it, you know, because I, I hear what other people are doing and, you know, sometimes it just doesn't work for me. But if I give myself, truly give myself time to reflect on what my needs are and what my goals are and, you know, how my life is structured to find something that, you know, to take that small 10% of what I like and leave the rest, I'm giving myself an opportunity to make baby steps in the right direction of growth. And I mean, that's the goal is to grow and heal through my recovery. And if it, that that's my journey. And sometimes people will say, you know, you need to do it this way. I get what you're saying. I really do. I mean, we all do. And there it's coming from a really positive place where people love you and care about you and just want to see you get better. And, you know, maybe that's something that would have worked for them. But it's, it's okay to say, you know what, that solution won't work for me or, um, and that I, I will do some reflection on this and see what might work for me. And, you know, I appreciate your support through this journey because that's a boundary that we're setting that 
you know, we will definitely give ourselves time to think it through. And put our best foot forward, do the next right thing so that we can continue to show up in our recovery and improve. And that's you asking for the grace that you need to give yourself time to implement that 10% and go from there, you know? So we all live different lives. We all have different journeys, experiences, you name it. And you know, what, what works for me isn't always gonna work for another person. What, what works for you isn't gonna always work for me. And that's okay. As long as we are allowing a space that is free of judgment and shame and, you know, allowing people the opportunity to work their own recovery, that's a, it's a pretty big deal. So with all this being said, you know, like I said, powerlessness, admitting we're powerless is a really, um, challenging part of the process, but it is, it is necessary for us to accept the things we cannot change. And by accepting those things, we are admitting powerless, however you look at it. And this is, this is my, this is something, it only takes five seconds of courage. Okay. To Put ourselves in that space when you're really struggling or when those negative thoughts to start to come through or you're beating yourself up or you are you know starting to live in that anxiety and fear it takes five seconds to pause take a deep breath inhale and exhale and, and say, I am powerless. That's all it takes. I mean, practice, practice it with me for a moment, you know? I'm powerless. Whatever that is, just go through it with intention and just, you know, I'm, I'm powerless. And, and that takes a lot of courage to show up and say that and to keep saying it. You know, when you start to see yourself stress out, pause for that moment and, and take a deep breath and we'll do it again. Let's do it again. We're going to inhale, exhale, and say, I am powerless. Okay. I am powerless. And you can follow that. So you can either begin that by knowing what you're admitting you're powerless to, or you can end it with, I am powerless, and then add on whatever it is you're trying to let go of. Or maybe you don't even know what that is. And you just know that you need to slow down and admit your powerlessness. It's okay. So practice it. Try to give it time to show up in your life and, you know, that's, that's the first place you could begin where afterwards, maybe you come up with a solution. That's, that's where you find your solution, your next step to take. Maybe you don't know what to do right now and this is where you need to begin. And as you practice it, because it will take time, you will find what's going to work next for you. And, you know, that's, that's a pretty incredible part of the journey that is really hard to see when we're in the middle of what's going on with us and, and in the middle of putting in all the work and really showing up, but just, just trust yourself 
and practice five seconds of courage. Take a breath and say it out loud or to yourself, I am powerless. So with this all being said, I have a small little reading I would like to read. I, I did a little bit of intentional work before showing up to this recording today. And, and it's so funny how everything works out. I had, I had written a blog post years ago um, about acceptance and trust. And I knew that this was going to be the topic today. So I just wanted to give myself a little refresher. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to look at the day I wrote it. Um, was September 18th, 2021. And I decided I would pick up a daily reader that I have and see what spoke to me. And sure enough, I found something that I felt was pretty perfect. So I want to just read a short paragraph and then we'll go about our days. When I feel unable to move or when I am filled with fear, I have a wonderful gift to help clear my way. The gift of memory. Too often, my memory has given me sadness, bringing back past hurt and shame. But now I can use my memory to see the progress I have made and to know the joy of gratitude. My own experience is teaching me to trust this wonderful recovery process. All I have to do is pay attention. So hopefully you can get something from this and, um, you know, somehow it reinforces the the doubt that you sometimes have or helps boost courage in times of fear and you know just keep showing up keep coming back so thanks for tuning in to my channel hope for recovery and i look forward to seeing you at the next one